guys, welcome back to another very special episode of Grim Reaper RC and today on the bench we have the HPI WR8 Chem Block Editions and these things are absolutely insane. Over here we have the Gymkhana 5 and over here we have the Global Rally Cross from 2013 and in today's video we're going to be comparing the two but before we get into it make sure you guys like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on the post notification button that way you guys always get notified whenever I upload a really cool or informational video just like this one or even one that's part of the KB43 Forever build series Chem Block 43 Forever build series that we have going on. We've done so much in the past to this RC over here. We've switched out almost all of the stickers on it, trying to make it look absolutely brand new. We put brand new rims and tires on it. And over here, we made this thing almost basically from scratch. We started it over and we unboxed it, put it all together and everything. We have a video on it in the past. It will be linked in the description box down below. So make sure you guys check that out. But let's get right into it, guys, and do a comparison on these two and a little bit of different differences and similarities between them. So let's get right into it, guys. Alrighty, guys. So taking a look between the two, basically one of the main differences that you can kind of spot right away is that the big thing is one of them is green, one of them is blue, obviously. They both have huge monster logo stickers on them. They both have the monster energy stickers on the side, but the chem blocks have a little bit of gray inside of the uh, skull here and over on the 2012 you guys can see it does have the black there's also the little hoonigan sticker down here and the way that the gym kind of five sticker is on the side with the 43 is much larger on the 2012 edition along with the wheels and tires these are five spoke uh, rims on here and they look absolutely amazing they are the same tires you guys can see that this is a multi spoke I believe these are 12 spoke uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are 12 spoke, 10 to 12 spoke on here, and they look absolutely amazing. I just did recount these are 11 spoke all the way. You guys can pause and recount. You just got to believe me. These are 11 spoke in comparison to the five spoke. On the top, they do have the same color 43 sticker, but on the side, you guys can see that it is white and they are a little bit different on the side 43 stickers. This one is white. This one is orange in comparison. They both do have the HPI racing and the shining monkey sticker on the side. Actually, this one is missing the HPI racing sticker there. This one does have the shining monkey sticker there. The other one does have the HPI racing. Both do have GoPro stickers on them, but they are in different locations. Other than the monster stickers on the top over here, those are missing, but they do have the vents up on the sides, which are basically the same. And the way that the color scheme and livery goes is basically the same, but they are much different liveries. Now taking a look at the back, you guys can see that it does say block on the back. And if you take a look at the back of this one, you guys can see that it does say 43 and they are a little bit different on the back side. Now this one is uh, basically the same sticker on the bottom, even though this one is a little bit different. This one does say God Save the Hoonigans, and this one does say Just Ain't Care. There is no writing on the top of the wing along this one. There is a bunch of writing on the top of the wing, which is pretty cool. They do have basically the same DC logos here and here along with the same back Fiesta pin. This one does say RS, Fiesta RS backwards. This one does say Fiesta. Uh, DC shoe on the back of that one and just Hoonigan on the back of here with a bunch of GoPro stickers. This one does look super clean. Now the thing is, is this is not a uh, Ken Block chassis. This is on the Subaru chassis, so it does fit a little bit differently. This can use to come up just a little bit and be level like that. So what you have to do is you have to put the back posts on first, and then you gotta push it and make it all level. It does have to be up just like that, I do believe, to make it level. So we will be fixing that very shortly. Basically, the monster stickers on the back are the same as well. They also do have the same Pirelli stickers, which is really cool because, as you guys can tell, we did fix a bunch of different stickers on here along with the taillights, and they are the same between the two. So if you do have an accident with this body and do need to replace a few of the stickers, you do have the option of taking the stickers from an older year and using them on 
that body. Now the stickers are starting to lift a little bit in places. This body is fairly old. At the time of filming this video, this body is basically 10 years old. If this did come out when the car originally came out. This is the 2012 edition and this is the 2013 edition. And for RCs that are that old, they are in absolutely amazing condition. So another really cool feature is basically on the top of here where the vent is that goes on the inside just to give the drivers a little bit of fresh air because there are no real windows on here. You guys can see Hoonigan sticker, Hoonigan sticker, but on the other side there is no Hoonigan sticker. We do have to just place that sticker down a little bit. So over here you guys can see that the front grill, we did replace this sticker and it is the same sticker that's on here. You can see it is a little bit bumpy and rigid on here. We do have to put a little bit of glue or something on the back of it just to make it make it stick down a little bit more this body was used you guys can see it's all scratched up and everything but i wanted to make it in almost as brand new as condition as possible you guys can see we also did use the same monster logo from over here the hpi racing stickers are basically in the same locations and then you can see the shining monkey the only logo that they did ditch on there was the dirt showdown over here also, the Pirelli sticker on the bottom is the same exact sticker. I did take this sticker from one of the 2013 sticker sheets. Again, if you guys haven't seen that video, it will be linked in the description box down below. We have done a bunch of stuff to this body just to get it in basically the same exact condition. Now, up top, these are basically the same stickers between the two, as you guys can tell from over here, along with the Hoonigan sticker that's on top of the wing, are basically the same between the two vehicles. Now, the windshield stickers are different just based off of this global rallycross sticker. Other than that, they would be the same. This one does have just the black line going across it on the top. All right, guys, so that is basically the video for Grim Reaper RC today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notification button. That way you guys always get notified whenever I upload a really cool informational or even a video on the KB43 Forever Build Series, Ken Block 43 Forever Build Series that we have going on. I still have a bunch more planned for it. It's definitely going to trickle over into next year, so make sure you guys stay tuned for it. You're definitely going to enjoy it. All right, guys, that's basically it for Grim Reaper RC today. Thank you guys so much for watching.